It's more valuable than the other ones because it's one that your opponents are not going to be necessarily going to be able to take. Because Kroko's coming in. Yep. Uh, he's just going to nudge Showmaker a little as he moves towards the top side of the map. Canyon's going to move on over. Orb of Deception. Just feeling with the fact that Closer has so, a push. It's so good. He will be able to get it. It's forcing Showmaker to split his attention between the cannon wave that's crashing in and his teammate. Well, big ol' smite from Croco does nudge Canyon back. But Canyon gonna wrap around once again, and I believe Closer thought that he'd moved out. In he goes, gets the bad news of the charm, he's gonna go wide. Good sidestep there from Closer, not moving the predictable direction. Or Croco to make in this case now is trying to punish the Spelioses. Yeah, Kale gonna dive on forward. Kellen gonna try and block Ice from getting any of these auto attacks off. Is now Kale taking a lot as well. Moving down towards the bottom side is Showmaker as well. Spirit Rush has now been used. The heal comes down. Showmaker holding on to the charm. Throws it out and finds the carry. That's exactly what you want. He'll grab first blood. Second kill goes over to Dr. Armin. look who's coming. It's Showmaker. It's better. And look at how quickly. And he's asking about their summoner spells. He's like, what spells do they have? Um, and we don't know what the answer is, of course, because uh, <laughs> we only have his audio. But he's like, I'm going. Wow. Two kills going over. And you know. see whether this gank is actually going to work out. Okay, the train's left the station. Dove sidesteps, it still has flash. Ignite goes down. They are going to be able to get the flash out of Dove. They would like down here on the bottom side. Does spot them. Okay, just going to walk in. This is one Cannon's versus coming. two. But yeah, there are a couple of members coming in, and Kellen is just going to run in with reckless abandon. There is the cataclysm. Goodbye, Mr. Ophelios. There are not enough years for you this time. The jinx, and none of us do, but... There's also all that thought. Oh, it's a great charm. An even better Everfrost. And then, oh, yeah. and I think that would have given you a lot more. Tristana, Tristana, I guess, has some more mobility options. As Croco ults forward. That's a great devour from Kellen. I don't. I think that that could be a less wordy uh, thing. As Super Mega Death Rocket's going to find Ice as Kale goes in there. Closes looking for it. Gets a couple of flashes as Kellen eats the Grey Health. There's so many years coming in, but it's just not going to Fertile. be enough. Fertile turns up. The train has left the station, and the orb deceives the Aphelios. All teleport in to actually lock everybody else down was was pretty awesome, right? And, and Yurla just, just <laughs> one flash forward. I loved Canyon's stop. He's just like, what are you doing, little Nah? Yeah. What are you doing in that pit? All that it, is not where you belong. All it takes is one flash forward from Kale and Damwon Kira. Oh. Like, I will pull the trigger. I've got so much gold this game. Uh. But yeah. its relevance will be uh, so tiny. I love this. The fact that we get the replay, it's like... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is a smite of 10 seconds. Croco, you can't even be here. It's not safe. Yeah, Doctor, I'm going to avoid the uh, Fury Circle. <laughs> and that is an offensive devour. Put him on the chops. On to the horse, yep. Put him uh, on the chops. Oh, oh no. no, sit on the choppers. It's timeout time. <laughs> It's time out, horsey. <laughs> oh, no. Into the stable. <laughs> We're not running any races today. As closer with the Everfrost, you'll get hit by Super Mega Death Rocket, and it does exactly that. Says that on the tin, I'm pretty sure. 500 health on the Herald gets a second crash, and that's going to be inhibitor turret. Oh, man. This is not, it's, it's, just, it's a difficult one to do the commentary for, Wolf, at this point in time. Yes, uh, it certainly is. Uh, Bernal is actually starting to turn this because Canyon's coming up. Dove, you stayed too long. Yeah, that's Cataclysm. Nice it's flash. immediately going to get flash. Let's see whether Dove can do the cool out play. The answer is probably not, but there's the solar flare. Flash out from Canyon. All right, he's burning down. He may still die. Showmaker turns up. He's going to exit the fun mode that we were having just there. It's a bit unfair to bring your mid laner. And Kale is um, it's very difficult to kill, just in general. So he buys enough time as we're going to go all the way back to the horse, put on the chompers, time out. Um, Kellen's like, all right, I got the slow. Oh, gonna special go and put him right delivery. On the he put him on the middle chomp. He's like, I gave you the best oh, chomp. Man, it yeah, it's happen, like Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be. I want it Where's to be the, the collab? The big Yoshi Tom. Yeah. <laughs> as Everfrost comes down, Solar Flare avoided there by Dark Dawn. The zap is fantastic as he gale forces backwards. The devour is going to be used, and Kellen is now going to pop the Jinx out with a huge shield. He flashes, gets himself out of the way, avoids the Everfrost, Super Mega Death Rocket, and now he's excited. Closes in trouble as well. Everything's landing. Oh. Man, he's charging up that Naba. He will have it for a potential scuffle that is going to happen here as the Tom Kench wanting to make his way forward. Doc Tom gets here, and Liv Sandbox should probably leave. You should probably get It's getting scary in here. Yep, and thanks for the leash. I really yeah. appreciate it. 
Yeah. Will be denied that bounty. It is, of course, the Cloud Soul going over. Canyon runs real quick now as well. Yeah. They were like, well, Duck Tom's backing yeah. this is our chance. No, yeah, not. Cross comes in. Charm is so easy. Closer is so dead. Yep. Licked to death by the Tom Kench. Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Yoshi's story, probably. I really like Yoshi's story, but I think, like, oh, okay, um, Ice might be dead. Nope. This is the baby with a shotgun. It's like a, yeah, no, no, not a, not a fan. Um, I liked it when it was all innocent. Well, uh, that's uh, a dove. Um, yeah, yeah the, the little mini Nara is just gonna die. Okay, Foxfire comes out, and that's going to secure it. And this inhibitor is going to go down. Um, this game is well and truly over. We still need to take down some Nexus turrets and kill a Nexus. As Croco is going to turn up. Yes, he's running pretty quickly. But they're just, there's just no options. Dumont here are way too far ahead. And it's 25 minutes into this game, and it is just about over. Showmaker pushes the top lane. Now all three inhibitors are dead. The live sandbox, only 15 seconds for Dump, but I don't know if, it's gonna, if they're going to last that long. One last option. One last engage. Canyon's behind them. Yes, uh, Canyon's flanking them from behind their own uh, Nexus. And that's a great Cataclysm. Gets himself out of there as well as Bertolt's dived on in. And he's a Scion. He's allowed to do that. The Onslaught of Shadows isn't scaring anyone right now as Dove is going to go down. It's a triple kill for the Jinx. 1 to 21. Live Sandbox were allowed to have one kill in both of their games. One each time. And that is all they get. The fact that Dom one did just put Liv Sandbox in almost an inescapable hole in the draft. In game one, um, not so much in game two, but the way they played out this game was obviously very rehearsed. They obviously had this plan that they'd put together, and uh, I think we do need to recognize the fact that the drafting has improved. Yeah, the Dom one have looked much better as of late. I think the big turning point for them was their win against Kwangdom. As you can see, smiles on the player's faces. Right Don't always see that for Dom One Kia at Wall Park these days, and it's not every player, but yeah, Spirit's looking a little bit better here. You win a Dom.